This is a special episode of Flutter in Practice where we will try to fix the errors that appeared. And it's because Flutter is developing so fast, there are many interesting changes and we need to now refactor our little project to adapt to them. So the first biggest change is the addition of extension methods in Dart. It's a very cool feature and basically it's just a way to add methods to existing classes. So existing in the sense that, for example, you have a string class or you have a stream class, which is in a library that you don't own. And then you can get this class and extend it with something so that you don't have to wrap it into your own class to provide it to the end users. When you launch uh, our email application, and you use the most recent recent version of Flutter. I'm using the stable branch. So I'm at the version 1.12. Eric Start, which uses extension methods, which is the version 0.23. So in that case, you will see errors for observable because this class no longer exists. Because before, the author of this library had to wrap the stream class, which is already in Dart, in order to provide those additional methods that make Eric start. So now we can just use stream everywhere, so it's simpler, and those additional methods will be extending, they will be extending the uh, existing stream class. We can change those names by hand, which is easy because we have only a few of them, but we can also use a tool that the author of Eric start uh, created, which is called Eric start codemon, so we can install it. And this tool will automatically go through our code and adapt it to this new version. So now you need to be in the project, the email app project, and you need to run this uh, migration tool. So now the tool will show you how it replaces the invocation. So in this case, we no longer have observable. There is no static class, so there's a new namespace, na a new uh, static class, let's say, called Rx, and let's accept this. So now we can remove observable and just use stream with all those, and again, and that's all, just a few of them. So now we should have no errors. Uh, another change we need to do to make this project work, and January 2020 is that we need to increment this version of Android. So I'm not sure why. There are, I think Flutter uses something from the SDK version 28, but this resolved the compilation problems. So now we should be able to run this project. But before we do, there is another change. So in Provider, uh, it's a very nice user experience, uh, Flutter plugin tells us that this method is no longer, shouldn't be used. It's deprecated. So it suggests that instead we should use depend on inherit widget of exact type. So let's follow that advice. And now we need to just slightly adapt it like that. And it should be OK. OK. so. Let's run the project and let's see if it compiles and if it runs. So it seems it's, it's working now. So these were the most important errors to resolve in order to run this application again as of now. So I, I wanted just to make this short special episode so you are not blocked. But we will now refactor our code again to take advantage of those new additions in Dart and in Flutter, especially extension methods, which is an extremely nice addition, which will, this will allow us to simplify even further some parts of our code. So stay tuned for the upcoming regular episode. That's all for today. Thanks for watching. Bye.